second stream, technically. Um, I did my first one the other day, but uh, being a complete and total noob to anything streaming related, I didn't realize that you had to enable um, recording in order for, for Twitch to archive stuff. So, um, doing round two here, also doing an extremely unwise thing. It's currently 4 a.m. where I am, and uh, I have to go out of town tomorrow, and I should just be going to bed instead of doing this. But um, I'm about to have a house guest for a couple weeks, and I would like to do this at least once before I have to uh, worry, uh, worry about um, talking to myself in the basement uh, and <laughs> leaving my guests upstairs. So i um, doing the incredibly foolish thing and doing this at 4 a.m., but... I just, I really, really want to. So, so here we are uh, for the first game that I'm doing. I'm doing some good old Super Mario Brothers, um, the uh, the original version. This I do have a Switch, but this is not on the Switch emulator. Um, this is the actual uh, NES 8-bit console, which tends to be my my go-to when I just want to pick up something casual. I always end up coming back to the old NES. So. I do have I do have a Switch, like I said. I do have some games on there that I also really like, but uh, mostly on here I'm probably going to be playing playing the old 8-bit games. So I've got some some unusual ones that you um, some that are on that are available on Switch, some that aren't. So uh, we'll just see what ends up happening. This is my 4 a.m. ramble, which is less efficient than my midday ramble. So anyway, let's load it up. So I'm not planning on doing a straight run, but I'll probably run straight through the first four worlds. I don't know I can do that for one thing. So planning on doing sort of a half let's play, sort of a half just uh, talking to myself. <laughs> Could be good at that. Oops. Ta-da! Anyway, so I'm sure. Just about anybody that's watching this, or could ever be watching this, is familiar with all of this, the, the few secrets that are in the first floor here. It's all the stuff that your friend told you about the first time you ever played this game. I'm dating myself already with uh, references to being, to being a kid when this was new. So, so, so I decided to, to jump on the the Twitch wagon. Why am I doing this? I don't entirely know. Uh, partly it just seemed like fun. People always seem to enjoy doing it. Um, partly just wanting to try something new, um, enjoying video games, wanting to get more of the um, retro representation out there. Um, honestly, a big chunk of it comes from becoming uh, increasingly isolated during the whole COVID pandemic that everybody obviously is dealing with and figuring that uh, rambling into the void of the internet is probably better than just hiding out in my house and, and if I happen to inter interact with somebody cool but at least it's it's something so to me an opportunity to chat into the ether even if no one's listening so ooh, look at that it's a one-up mushroom you can go down that first one anyway just to be to be honest and clear, um, in case anybody is looking for new channels to follow, I am very much a science person. I am pro-vaccine, I've been vaccinated, I've received both Moderna doses, um, I have yet to mutate into a space alien, so all good there. Um, I'm in favor of masks in public and all of that stuff, so if you've got a problem with any of that, uh, you might as well exit now. So, um, if you go up on the ceiling and you go over to the right, there's a warp zone. I'm not going to be using that right now. It 
it is funny how people can come back to these old games. Uh, probably anybody that's that played these um, extensively has that experience. In that, um, even half paying attention, I can come back to this and just and just run it um, as if I just you know as if I was just playing it yesterday. Um, although in this case, I was actually playing it yesterday, doing all of my stream testing and hardware testing and whatnot. But um, muscle memory. It's a thing. Um, I run into that sometimes where if anything unexpected happens, it's going to throw me off. Of course, these old games, they are precisely programmed and there is no variation. So, or very little of it. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much just half pay attention and run through it. Um, as if you played it every day of your life. <clears throat> so there's times when I'll just pick it up again and um, and run right through it as if no time has passed at all. I don't care about that because I already have firepower. As far as I know, Every castle has at least one coin in it. There were a couple, and I was doing a playthrough yesterday where I didn't find, I didn't notice one. Cause I always thought that there was at least one. I could be wrong. I always like seeing which kind of enemy that's that is in the disguise. If you have firepower, you can do that. Our castle is in another princess. Oh no. Do, 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 do. It's world two. So in every, um, at, I think in every world, at least definitely in the first few, if you warped to get there, there's a secret one up mushroom. Um, if I'd warp, wow. Speaking of stuff throwing you off, that is not supposed to be there. I've played this several times over the past few days while uh, testing this and testing my computer and testing my hardware and all of that, and that is not supposed to be there. <laughs> Got the most useless Starman ever. It's right there. Wow, I'm doing great with those blocks, aren't I? But uh, it's gonna, you, you're just going to let it run out because Coin Heaven Beanstalk is right here. Had a lot more randomness to ramble about the other day, but now I'm now it's it's 4 a.m. Um, and there's not a lot other than static in my brain at the moment. There's so much of that, um, I think especially life in general, but especially these days, that um, people just keep, keep to themselves, you know? Um, everybody is Everybody is pretty much going through the same shit. Um, everybody is having to deal with the pandemic and the world and um, all of the stuff that's going on. And at least I personally find that I just um, I just tend to not, you know, not deal with it or just try not to think about it. Um, I mean, it seems like there's not as much of a point in. Um, preaching to the choir, so to speak, just been talking about it with people, even your friends and whatnot, because everybody is, everybody's in it, everybody's in the same, in the same mess, um, so, I figured maybe it would be good to have a place to ramble, even if I'm just rambling to myself, so this is a thing that I'm still caught by, or old habit, um, is that there's an undertow in these underwater 
um, coin areas. And you see if I stand here, it rolls me over. Um, I'm just used to that being a death trap from when I was a kid. I'm sure I would be able to handle it now. Um, but I still avoid it. I'm just, I'm so used to that being a bad idea that I, I don't do it. I don't even try. You look at the stuff in the same pattern that you've always done. It's flying fish time! Whoa. This level I tend to just bl mostly just walk through. If you keep going at sort of a steady rate, you can just make it pretty easily. This is the world's most uselessly redundant Let's Play here. Although I'm sure there's plenty of, um, ah, that's great. I'm sure there's plenty of people at this point that have never played this. I mean, because why would you really? You know, so many, there's so many better games to play, but I'm, I'm a permanent sucker for nostalgia. Oh look, now I get to go to the castle small. That'll be fun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. I did a couple I did do a couple of streams and a couple of test streams uh, over the last couple days and uh, I kept getting this thing where like somebody would probably would accidentally I'm sure hit the subscribe button um, and then and then immediately unsubscribe. So I keep getting these emails from Twitch like, hey, you got a subscriber and I'm still sitting at zero. It's like thanks. Thanks for rubbing it in. But no, as I've said, I mean I'm not I'm not as worried about um if anybody, you know if anybody watches it. I'm doing this just for fun and for myself and throwing it out there and hoping that somebody else you know, might find it entertaining so Oops. Do, 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 do. I need that still can't believe it with that one up uh, mushroom I unless I'm crazy and I and I'm remembering it wrong so world three if you nope I'm wrong again it's not here it's the bridge caught myself on that the other day. Do, do, do. Up here. If you warp to world three, there's a one up um, somewhere in here. Star in there. Do, 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 do. Screw you, Hammer Brothers. Come here. These springs are the bane of my existence. That's another thing. If I trust it, I don't get I don't get a full bounce off of it. Like I have to go on it assuming that I'm gonna fail. <laughs> so every time I trust it, it gives me the little bounce and then I'm and then I die. Oh crap, I forgot that was there. Is this the one? This is the one. Okay. I'm going to try to do the thing. My cousin uh, is the wizard in the family, and he showed me... Oh, crap. Well, now I just blew it. Ha <laughs> ha! You know what? I'm going to try this again. My cousin showed me how to do this when I was young, and I was never able to do it. Um, and I tried it the other day, and I actually did it for the first time in my life. So I'm going to give it another try. There's a um, unlimited lives trick right there, and I'm gonna give it another. S wah. Let's try not to fall off the edge. Just give it another try. Let's see if I can do it again. Do I want this? Yeah, I should. I'm pretty sure I. Can. Ah, well, that was great. Well, whatever. Still try this. Nope. <laughs> that 
bad angle. <laughs> well, now I'm kind of determined here. Well, at least take a stab at it. In your face. It doesn't stay that way very long because you get the fire flower right away, but I always thought that the, uh, the large Mario sprite was cool looking. You don't see it very long because everybody goes for the fire flower. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, I don't know how I managed to do it last la the other day, but um, yeah, if you if you repeatedly jump on the turtle on the edge, um, you can get unlimited one ups. I I actually managed it for the first time in my life the other day. Clearly not today. I'm not an expert, um, obviously evidenced by the fact that I totally could have got a one up there and I just didn't do it. Um, my cousin was the wizard in the family. He knew where everything was. Not me, but of course I also uh, didn't have any video games in the house um, for a significantly long time. We couldn't afford it. So um, my cousin's family, again, they always had the the new console and I got to play stuff at their place and I got to play stuff at my friends friends places um, but um, we never had our own video games because we, we couldn't afford it so this um, the NES I'm using right now is actually the one that I that I bought off another kid for 10 bucks after he got a Super Nintendo so then I finally had one so I think that's part of the it's probably part of the nostalgia that I get um, the old consoles is um, how long how long I wanted one and that I was finally able to get one um, and I didn't care that it was the older you know it was the older gen I just um, was finally able to get my own Nintendo and learn the games and not have that situation anymore where um, you'd uh, play at a friend's place and of course because they played every day they'd be really good at it and in these old games, you would you would go you would play till you died. So um, I would play for about five seconds and immediately die at pretty much the first obstacle. And then I would wait for half an hour for the expert who played every day to to, to lose. Um, so that definitely makes a difference when you can finally um, play on your own. I shouldn't have stopped. Uh, so this is the same NES um, from then. It's not even the like the top loading. Um, that was stupid. Um, Re-release or anything like that. It's um, the ye old original. So I've had to uh, I've had to replace the cables. And at this point, um, I need a new I need a new controller because my second one is um, has finally given up the ghost at least on some of the buttons. So this one's feeling a little mushy, which is not great. But um, that was one of the things I was uh, found impressive about Nintendo was that they go me that they. Um, they continue to support the old machines. I was able to, wow, that was dumb. So this is what I get when I talk and game at the same time. I don't normally do this. I don't normally talk when I'm playing video games, so that's gonna take some getting used to, but um, I was able to order replacement cables and stuff right off their website, and I think that was in the N64 era. You could still pick up parts for the old stuff, so that was some, uh, classy customer support. I don't know if that's still the case. You could order like manuals for old games too. I mean you, often you'd get like a Xerox 
you know, photocopy. Um, but uh, I've ended up with some weird games because um, by the time I got my, my Nintendo, it was Super Nintendo time. So everything was on clearance or it was from garage sales um, or it was used stuff that um, video rental places were getting rid of. Um, so I picked up some odd games that way, some of which eventually will show up on this channel. But uh, some of that stuff I was able to pick up a manual for by um, ordering it. So one up is right here if you warp too far. Well done again. Doing great. I actually managed a straight run yesterday. I don't know if I'd ever done that before. You get those depending on where the clock is when you get to the end. At one, three, and six. Oh, hey, since I'm small now, I can do this stupid programming thing. Wee! I thought that was hilariously awesome when I was a kid, and then I immediately got hit. Well done. No coins for me. Oh, doing great! Here I am gonna warp because I um, I'm not gonna try going all the way through again. There's my beanstalk. You can also skip a lot of this by um, running along the ceiling. And I believe there's a pipe to world five at the end of this. And if you stay on the ceiling the whole way. I'm going to go ahead and warp to 8. See if I can finish the game. Alright, you get to world 8, and if you die, you go all the way back to the beginning. Um, also, the levels are longer. This is one that I always used to run, uh, almost run out of time on. So here, well, I just died getting it, but that's where the secret one up is if you warp here. And I don't know if I have enough guys to be able to pass this thing. I might not have enough guys to beat the game. only there the one time? It is. It's only there the one time. Good to know. Well, now that I'm not big anymore, Be a little more careful down the hall. Well, nope, I need this or I run out of time. I'm probably going to run out of time in general because I've been going at it pretty slow here. Alright. They didn't even 
see any of the cheap levels where you get further in the game and because they only had so much memory on the cartridge they just uh, repeated old levels and um, added extra difficulty. Wow! Parking and playing at the same time again. I didn't even get the one up before I died. And that one's always there so as long as you get that first you can um, replay this level as many times as you want. But of course I didn't make it. I'm definitely doing worse than I've done earlier this week. <laughs> There's that again. Doing great. Wow. I am totally not going to make it. God, I'm playing like I'm 14. I'm sure a lot of 14 year olds play better than this, but I was not one of them. It did take me a significant amount of time before I was able to actually finish this game. Oh. This is pathetic at this point. <laughs> That's such a great straight run the other day. It was just a test. I didn't have all of my hardware figured out. Definitely games that also that I am better at than this. But this just seemed like a good one to uh, get my feet wet on. Is there something in here? No, there's not. Are you gonna fire? No, you're not. giant jump I was just scared me to death. It would be forever to be able to cast that. I was just not great at games. Ah. Right, do, 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 do. Right, split staircase at the end. Alright. Well, with only two guys, whether I can finish this or not comes down to, uh, oh, three. Comes down to whether or not I can hold on to the fire flower. Why am I getting double shots? I think my, um, Nintendo might actually get be getting sick of me playing this over and over again for the last several days. It's doing some weird stuff. Alright. This one... This one's at the end. Still have a chance. I did. My finger slipped off the A button on that one. Do, 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 do. Maybe hard to believe with as poorly as I'm doing this round, but I do a lot better with the. Uh, the original controller than I do with the Switch, because again, muscle memory. Um. <sighs> wow. I'm going to blame this on it being 4.30 a.m. Talking about muscle memory right when I screw up. Well done. Um. But no, if it's not, you know, not the the controller feel that you're used to, it can be harder to um, do the patterns. So, and also compared to uh, compared to the original, you know, the Switch of course has all sorts of extra buttons that essentially get in the way. Since in the old NES, you only had arrows in A and B. Yeah, screw you. 
die. Alright. Get this. And I still have a shot, even with only one life. I've got but one life to live! I need that because there's these Hammer Brothers that are out here, just hanging out. And I am not good at beating Hammer Brothers without, uh, bricks to kill them through. So, which is also why, if I lose my firepower in the castle here, I am most likely screwed. Especially with only one life left and not even being close to another, another hundred coins. I've got one shot, one opportunity! Probably gonna lose it in a stupid way! If I do, I might actually run through it again with warping, so. This is a repeating castle, um, like four and uh, six, I believe. Um, so you have to know which pipes to go down, which normally they're after something unusual. Like there was that lava pit right there. Um, and then here. Well, that's that. I'm probably fucked. Wow, I didn't even make it. Whew! <clears throat> this was pathetic. This is probably the worst game of this that I've had all week. With all of my testing and all of my all of all of my run throughs. Um, I go to actually do this and have it recorded and I have a terrible run. Alright, we'll just blast through this and give this another try. I suppose I could go to three and try the one-up trick again, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to try to, to run it and then I'm going to quit and then I'm going to go to bed like a semi-intelligent person. <clears throat> Unlike the ridiculousness that I'm doing now. I'm up at 4.30 a.m. talking to myself in my basement. Oh, hey, three. So that happens if your last digit on your timer is a three when you hit the flag. This time, I will go to the warp zone, and we'll see if we can just rush through this and finish the game. The ribbon got off. I have a little bit more of a normal run here. here too where you could glitch out the game and end up in like a endless underwater world. I've never been able to do that either. I haven't had instructions on how to do it. Of course that was before I'm about to super date myself again. Um, that was before you had um, a million YouTube videos on how to do everything. So I just had some written instructions in a book um, of video game secrets and uh that because it worked but now I tried to figure it out from this written you know n unillustrated instruction thing um, and wasn't able to do it screw you lack 
too. This game is really quick if you just warp from, you know, through the whole thing. So I'm going to note that part of the reason um, that I got all of this stuff set up to stream uh, right now is that um, I also volunteer with an anime convention, Anime Fusion, and we are doing a 24-hour streaming marathon um, next weekend, Saturday night of Labor Day weekend, well, Saturday, Saturday at noon to Sunday at noon. It's a 24-hour marathon. Um, as a fundraiser for extra funds for the convention since obviously like pretty much every other convention out there uh, we lost a, a year last year due to COVID-19 so we're doing a, um, a fundraiser marathon where we're raffling off a whole bunch of, uh, of awesome stuff um, a bunch of batches of stuff too so if you if you donate between uh, or you know in any particular hour you're entered into the drawing for some um, cool anime stuff. So that'll be at the Anime Fusion Con channel here on Twitch um, next Saturday. Can't remember the date, but it's it's um, Saturday of Labor Day weekend. So we've got a whole a whole schedule of people lined up to be streaming different things. And check it out donate and win some stuff um, so I've got a, a time block in there where I will be playing Super Mario 2 um, which is a game that I'm particularly good at it's actually one of my favorites I know a lot of people don't like it um, but um, it's it's one that I that I really enjoy so I figure that might be fun because it's one that people play a little less often because they don't really like it uh, a lot of people think it's harder. For some reason, I always had an easier time with it. Um, it is one of my favorite ones. Why am I waiting for him when I've got freaking firepower? So that is my plan for next weekend. So we've got the, uh, the Anime Fusion website will have information about the event. Um, the page is still under construction where we're getting all the information and whatnot together. But as soon as that's up, you'll be able to see um, the schedule of who's streaming when and what they're doing and what the prizes are. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. All right. Doing better this time. I think because I'm thinking less. Now that I've said that, I'm probably going to screw up. Hey, this looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? I'm in a significantly better position than I was last time. Go away, Life 2. Nobody likes you. I almost jumped down the hall. Almost stabbed myself in the foot. blocks because I already powered up here. I just have to not die. Well, that was short-lived, but I can still get power-ups in the next level and I have several lives this time. So, still got a shot at it. Now I'm in much better shape than I was last time. That was just a terrible run <laughs> of all the things to be my um, my first real uh, demo here. Just had that an awful run. I am 
not I am not good at um, at beating these guys without having bricks under them. Even now. So I have to have firepower here because they're out here just out in front of the wall. And I am no good at passing them. Chickened out. I'm like, oh, I timed that jump badly. I'm gonna go back. Can't go back. Fortunately, in this case, it's World 8, so I have to play the entire stage again. Which is good in this case because then I got another shot at the um, power up. See, this is what happens when I start feeling good about how I'm doing. <laughs> at least this time, I've got some extra guys to play with. As I was saying, before I totally screwed up and lost the last time, um, you mostly just have to remember which pipes it is, but they tend to be the one after something unusual happens or shows up. So, first one was a lava pit, here's another lava pit, secret coin. Usually there isn't a piranha in there, that's unusual. <laughs> it's usually a dead pipe. Flying fish time! Another lava pit! How's your swimming pool? Alright, if I'm gonna screw up, it's gonna be in here. screw up, shall we? Bam! Alright, I'm good. This jerk is here, and I am no good at passing those guys. Alright, come on, Pagu. The genuine Bowser! Wow, he took only like four hits. I thought he took more than that. That's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? And there she is, the beautiful Princess Peach. Looking looking great in 8-bit two-tone. <laughs> so, ta-da! I did the thing! Ooh! I showed a, a reasonable minimum amount of, um, of game ability. So, ta-da. Anyway, um, 
So yeah, so if you happen to watch this, uh, if you join me at any time, I'm, I'm, I am apologize for not giving you a shout out. I have to look in a different direction than my than my monitor to see what I'm doing. So, um, but uh, I appreciate you checking it out and hanging out and watching me fail somewhat miserably before eventually succeeding. Um, this channel is going to be this, largely. It's going to be a lot of retro games, a lot of uh, random rambling, and a, at least a, hopefully a reasonable chunk of actually um, of Let's Play information. So maybe I'll be, maybe with this bunch of practice, I'll be able to get over my habit of saying um all the time. So hey, extra bonus. See, this is, this is why gaming is good. <laughs> So yeah, so I am out of stuff to say, and it is now 4.40 a.m., so not quite as bad as it might have been. I need to get the heck off of here and go to sleep. So I'm Katsubankoya again, and thanks for joining me, and hopefully we'll see you next time.